She isn't here, is she? Sir, can you make a video about question tags? Well, I will try my best, Mohammed. And to do that, I've got the assistance of one of my assistants. You know how to edit videos, don't you? Yes, I do know how to edit videos because I've been editing videos for three and a half years. You are learning English, aren't you? Well, I'm not learning English, mm -hmm. but my viewers and subscribers, they are learning English. So what do we know about question tags? Well, we can add question tags like, isn't it? Can you? Didn't they? To a statement to make the question tag more common when we are speaking. They are more common in spoken English than they are in written English. However, they, are, they do exist especially where there is a narrative as well. We often use question tags when we expect the listener to agree to our statement. In this case, when the statement is a positive, we can use a negative question tag. Example. Yesterday was so much fun, wasn't it? You're right, yesterday was a lot of fun. We had a very good live session and I know that my subscribers and viewers turned up and they asked lots of questions, which is great. If a statement is negative, we can use a positive question tag. So notice now the difference in my voice should start rising a little bit as I say the question tag. She isn't here, is she? The trains are never on time, are they? Nobody has called for me, have they? If we're unsure, or we're almost sure that the listener will confirm that our statements are correct, we say the question tag with a falling intonation. So that means that the voice just goes down a little bit. Don't they? Don't they? The first example there was a falling intonation. The second example, a rising intonation. If we are a bit less sure, we say the question tag with a rising intonation. Formations of question tags. If there is an auxiliary verb in the statement, we use the auxiliary verb to form the question tag. So notice that you can see in this example, it ends in a positive question tag that is reflecting the initial auxiliary verb, which is a negative example. I don't need to finish this week, do I? James is working on that, isn't he? Your uncle has retired, hasn't he? The phone didn't ring, did it? It was hammering it down yesterday, wasn't it? Your mum hadn't met him before, had she? Occasionally there is no auxiliary verb already in the statement. For example, when the verb in the statement is present simple or past simple and is positive, here we don't use don't, doesn't or didn't. Example, Jenny eats cheese, doesn't she? Notice that there is no do in that sentence. I said that already, didn't I? The verb in the statement is to be in the present simple or past simple. In this case, we can use be to make the question tag. The train station's over there, isn't it? Some of these customers were happy, weren't they? So there I'm asking for confirmation. Remember, the statement part of a question tag is usually before the comma. Okay, now that you know about the question tags that we mentioned, tap here to have a look at a video about present simple, here for past simple, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to Hit the like and subscribe button, that would really help me and the channel out. I'll see you over there.